this morning I thought I would talk about what I do to clean the ears on my Swiss <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Um, allergies are bad. Anyway, I thought I'd talk about cleaning the ears. There's two things that I do. I do a um, ear flushing. When I'm going to say every two or three months, it's not all that often. I can usually judge by how the dog smells. Like, it smells nice today. When I need to flush the ears, I'll notice a lot of earwax, earwax smell. Even after I give her a bath, she still smells like earwax. Now I had to, I had to go to my vet's office and have them show me the right way to flush and clean the ears. Because when I brought Lizzie home from the breeder, um, she had had an ear infection. They gave me an antibiotic. It hadn't gone away. But I think at that point, I wasn't confident to clean the ears out the right way. And the second thing that I do is every week or two weeks when I give her a bath, I will just take a cotton ball and externally freshen up the ear. So those are the two things. I flush the ear and then I maintain the ears after the bath. I like to use the Mystic Ear Cleaner by Chris Christensen. It comes in a smaller 8 ounce bottle and it also comes in the gallon size. I believe the 8 ounce bottle was around 6 or 7 dollars. Um, and the gallon size was closer to 35. I like the Mystic Ear Cleaner. It's the best one that I've tried because it smells, it has a fresh smell. You know, like first thing in the morning smell, fresh laundry smell. It's really, it's a clean scent, not overpowering. And it's not sticky. So I don't have to immediately put the dog in the bathtub because I clean her ears. And it does a really great job at removing the nasty earwax smell. Lizzie is not a big fan of having her ears clean, as you will see. However, she does, she is prone to ear infections, so it really must be done. And basically what I'm going to do to deep clean the ear, and I really want to stress that you don't want to do anything to your dog's ears unless you know how to do it the right way. Um, I wouldn't just take my word for it. Have your vet's office demonstrate for you. They'll give you specific instructions. It's not hard. And as long as you're careful, you won't hurt the dog. So what you want to do, and you might not get a clear shot of the ear, is I fold the ear back. I, re I move the hair out of the way so I can see because I, I don't, I have a hemostat, but I don't pluck the ear hair. It's really not necessary if you comb through it and you keep the ear clean. So how I was taught to do it, was you hold the ear back like a Doberman you want to fill the good girl you want to fill the ear canal with the fluid you will see that you pretty much can judge when you fill the ear canal up with water you'll or the, the solution you'll see the solution rise to um, up to the top of the ear canal and then I gently massage with my fingers her ear and you probably can't hear it but it makes a little swishing sound you know you have it right when it makes the swishing sound I like to use my q-tip to check to make sure that she doesn't have an ear infection. And you don't want to jab your dog in the ear. You just want to gently test right inside of 
the opening of the ear canal to see if there's debris, which it comes back brown, red, various shades of those colors. And she doesn't have a problem in that ear right now. We'll just do glow up. She's nervous because she had a really bad ear infection recently. But she's okay. Okay. So I'm going to do the other side. I'm going to hold the ear open like a Doberman ear. Make sure that her hair is not matted, tangled, out of the way. She's nervous. I'm going to fill the ear canal up with the solution. And she does want to shake, so you have to be fair. And then I'm going to massage the ear. So I hear a swishing sound. The swishing sound is actually, um, in a way, collapsing the inner ear. And that's what's going to force all the debris out to the top of the ear. Okay. And I'm going to just use my Q-tip. Without poking her in the ear, you never want to stick a foreign object in your dog's ear. However, my vet showed me the best way to do it. And she doesn't have any dirt, debris, no infection. And that was flushing her ears out. After I give her a bath, at the end of the week or every two weeks, I like to maintain the health of the ear, and I just use my cotton ball, moisten my cotton ball with the Mystic Ear Cleaner. I fold her ear back, and I don't stick it inside of her ear, but I'm just going to clean. around her ear canal and the outside of her ear, the underneath. Because a lot of times, if it's a have the floppy ears, it could work for you, so you'll find that they're not that dirty, or it could work against you where there's constantly debris trapped in there. In our case, it usually stays pretty clean. And I want to prevent the dirt from going inside the ear. So I'll just fold it over, maybe you can see the ear. And I just clean around the outside of the ear. Sometimes if I have excess cleaner on the cotton ball, I'll squirt it inside the ear. I always throw my cotton balls away. The dogs like to eat them. And even though it says it's non-toxic, I don't want them to ingest it. It can be used. It's gentle, non-greasy, quick drying, deep cleaning. It can be used for dogs or cats. And overall, I think that it does a really good job for our purposes. And now she's, she's ready to go for another week. Have a great day.